Well, hello everyone, and thank you for attending today's webinar. Today was Mars featured product promo, the Marcal 16 ER digital caliper. I'm George Schutz, the director of precision gauges in, in Providence, Rhode Island. And if you have any uh, questions or comments, uh, I will you can put them into the chat feature and I will respond to your question after the webinar by email. Again, thank you for attending today's uh, webinar. Our agenda is to learn more about the Marcal 16ER digital caliper. We'll find out, of course, what it is, some of its features, why you may need it. We'll go over some of its technical data, Let's look at the accessories and applications for a digital caliper, and talk about why it's a great value being our featured product promotion. So let's begin. Nomar has a full suite of hand tools from digital calipers and depth gauges, digital indicators, and new modern digital micrometers. They all are modern looking and feature packed. They're high quality shop tools meant to be used at the point of manufacture. And I think if you look at prices, you'll see that they are lower or at the same level as all our major competitors for a same quality of hand tool product. Mars is also the leader in low cost and transparent wireless data transfer since we offer the lowest cost receiver with free Marcom wireless integrated software. So we can get you up and running doing wireless data collection that's very easy and transparent to the user. As I said, MAR has a complete line of hand tools with over 185 innovative products, 68 of them employing integrated wireless data transmission. And here you can see a, a good summary of all the digital calipers, digital depth gauges, digital indicators, and digital micrometers. As you probably remember, MAR was the first one to use integrated wireless with our digital indicators oh, probably 10 years ago now. And today we have 24 different models, nine with integrated. We have high resolution digital indicators. We have new high, higher resolution and accuracy digital comparators all at great value pricing. The same goes for our line of digital calipers, uh, 40 of them, 19 digital calipers, and a whole suite of uh, both standard micrometers, micrometers with speed drive, and specialty micrometers. So again, MAR has a complete line of hand tools uh, and integrated ones to meet your gauging needs. So let's take a look at the, the Marcal Digital Caliper product line and, and a full suite of products with the basic products, the 16ER, all the way up to our 16EWR uh, calipers and the 18 -E family of large capacity calipers. And as you go through the line, you can see that uh, the basic 16 ER comes without data output. We have a version integrated wireless or a cabled version using our Mark Connect cable by application concept. The 16 EWR is a more uh, waterproof or uh, IP67 rated caliper that allows us to uh, use really at the point of manufacture again, with the wireless and uh, integrated wi wireless technology or cable uh, data collection. And we have some universal calipers that allow us to provide a shop tool that can get into grooves and, and various uh, smaller lands to give us more capability with the caliper. And of course, our specialty calipers and large calipers. All these start at the six inch measuring range and uh, can go three inches if needed for uh, digital calipers. 
But we're going to focus today on the 16 ER, our most basic digital caliber. It does not have data output. It's meant to be used in inspection areas, not right in the machine tool because it's not as high rated as some of the IP products we make. It has the integrated uh, reference, which is one of our key features of our calipers. And this one does come in ranges of six all the way up to, to 12 inches. So let's take a look at some of the specifics of the 16ER. Like I said, this is our most basic caliper, but even though it's a basic caliper, you can see how modern looking it looks. It has a large, a nice large digital display, a modern looking caliper. The display is uh, 11 millimeters high. It's designed to be used in, in inspection areas. It has unique features of uh, the locking function so that you can make a measurement. Maybe you, you're reaching around and you can't see it. You can lock that feature. And even if the, uh, the scale moves on you, you'll still remember the value that you made. This is made to our to DIN standards in terms of calipers. It incorporates a round depth rod. It has long battery life. That it has our built-in reference system. So all you need to do is turn it on or move the slide and you're ready to begin measuring. Some of the terms that we use in terms of a, um, a digital caliper is, you know, we have the, the outside measuring jaws on the bottom left there, the inside measuring jaws. We have the capability of measuring step heights with the, the sliding scale. There's a reference scale for rough positioning. There's a zeroing button. If you press it for less than a second, it zeroes. If you hold that for more than three seconds, it goes into the menu selection to allow you to begin setup. Again, the reference system, you turn it on with the on key or you uh, move the slide, it's gonna turn on and it remembers the last zero setting that it's used. This is a unique feature. Now with conventional you know, calipers, you might have to turn the switch on you would bring the jaws together, together and zero the caliper, and then you're ready to make measurements. And then if you turn it off, you would have to do that again. But you don't have to do that with the Marcal with the reference system built in because it's really, even though it's off, it's always sensing that scale and knows where it's at. So you can either turn it on or move it. It senses that it's moved and remembers that last zero setting and you can begin by just turning it on and, and making a measurement. You don't have to remember to zero it every time you turn it on. <clears throat> it also has a locking feature, a key lock function, so that, again, if you make a measurement, you really can't see it. You might be able to get behind that, that land or something and, and you can feel where you are. You can use the lock function to, to set that, that point you can pull that caliper out. If you have to move it, you can do that, but it will still lock on to that last measurement that you set. And then you can just release it, and now you're ready to begin making measurements again. It's a very useful feature uh, for a lot of reasons. The nice thing about MarCal 16ER is its battery life. Typically, you know, like a, a caliper might last a year or so under a normal battery. But since the, uh, the 16 ER does not have uh, the wireless data transmission, you can get up to three years of battery life out of this caliper. So that's one less thing that we have to worry about in terms of using this caliper. At MAR, we also build the quality into our caliper. All our, our, our guideways are lapped for superior uh, surfaces. And you can really feel the difference when you, you pick up our caliper compared to some of the others that are out there. It's smooth, it just feels nice. It feels like a high quality caliper because we build that quality in, it's a lap surface, and it's going to move very smoothly. Now, what type of measurements can you make? Well, you know, well, typically, uh, with a caliper, you can make the most common one is a outside measurement. 
uh, using the, the large jaws to get a, a diameter or a length with the inside jaws and in the in the B uh, graph here you can see that we have the inside diameter or inside length with the depth rod you can measure depths or with the step function, you can measure the distance between an edge and some location using that step function. They're all zeroed when the uh, caliper is, jaws are brought together, and that acts as the reference for all your measurements. And again, this is a measuring device. It has the reference scale built into it. So you set the reference once, and it remembers that value and makes all comparisons to that reference. Unlike a gauge where you need an external master, with a, with a digital caliper or a digital micrometer, uh, the, the measuring standard is built into it. So yeah, the outside jaws are used for outside measurement. It could be a round diameter or a rectangular part. You know, when you're making a measurement, the jaw should be clean. You have to set the zero once, like I said, but once with our reference system, it's always going to be there. You open it enough to get the part in between the jaws, close the jaws on the part to make sure that you have good contact without deforming the caliper, and then you just directly read your measurements. Caliper is a very simple device to use. Very similarly, you can measure inside diameters with the inside jaws. You, you bring the jaws closer, they get inside the hole, uh, ensure that they're clean, you have your reference already set, and again, you open up the jaws in this case to get that inside diameter. You know, with a diameter like this, you, you probably are going to have to just rock it very slightly to make sure that you have the inside diameter and not are not measuring the corridor or, or a part of that diameter. It's very easy to feel. It's something that uh, you, know, you have to do, but once you get the practice of doing that, it's very easy to read an inside diameter. Depth measurement is the same type of concept. Again, once the jaws are brought together and referenced, that endpoint of the, uh, the depth gauge is, is manufactured to be flat with the, within the end of the, the uh, reference jaw itself. So now you can just go into the hole that you want to make the measurement, and you re can read directly what that depth uh, gauge is, the depth of that hole might be. The step, the step function is something, again, that's built into a lot of calipers. You know, the, the sliding scale, uh, its jaws are offset in the back so that there is a step between the, the jaw and the, uh, the reference context. So what you can do is you can lay the caliper on a, a block or something using the movable contact to set a reference position. And now you bring your sliding jaw to the point that you want to measure. So you're actually measuring this step function with the caliper. It's a very useful tool that, that some people forget are built into that, that caliper capability. You can also use a caliper to be a comparative type instrument. You know, like I said, a caliper has the measuring scale built into it, and that becomes your reference. But if you want to measure a differential measurement, say the difference between one size and another size, you can, you can zero on the one diameter and then go ahead and measure the other diameter, and you'll get the difference between those two diameters. So sometimes you might be looking for the actual size. Other times you may be looking at the difference between the two parts and you want to know what that uh, dimension is. And a digital caliper can do that very easily for you. Uh, digital calipers are, you know, they're pretty sensitive and precision tools. They're not meant to be used as hammers to knock something in position or use the edge as a cutting tool to open up boxes or something else like that. You, know, you should treat them as what they are, a precision measuring tool. So you gotta handle them with care. You don't wanna 
drop them or like I said, use them for tapping items. Keep them clean, especially when you're measuring and ensure the jaws are properly aligned to the part when being measured. And of course, like I said, you don't wanna to apply too much force to the jaws because with too much force, you can start to you know, deform the jaws or the scale and then you'll get uh, uh, inaccurate measuring. That's typically the reason why some people, uh, when you give a one part and a set of calipers to 10 different people, you might get 10 different readings. It's simply because each one of them is, is trying to compress that part a little bit differently. So when you have a thumb wheel, that helps you to, uh, to apply the same force to those jaws and get more repeatable readings. So, you know, how, how do you use a, a, a caliper? Well, you know, the first thing you wanna do is follow the instructions in the setup uh, in the manual to get that caliper set up to the inch metric that you want, to the, the direction that you want to use it to, and so forth, so that uh, you're ready to begin making your measurements. So you, you begin by setting the 16 ER to the required units, inch metric, or any other features that you want to use. And the 16 ER, along with all our calipers, are starting to use a very simple menuing routine. So you can go down to the function that you want, and then you go ahead and select the units, and then you can move on to the next choice that you want to make. You can even put presets into the unit if you want and get the, uh, the gauge ready to be used with an offset in there. So once you have the caliper set up, then you have to start your cleaning process. And this is something that you should do with every measuring instrument. You wanna clean off the workpiece. You wanna clean off the, the, the guideways on the caliper. You wanna clean the reference and sensitive jaws. You know, one of my favorite pictures, you know, for some of our IP67 calipers is that we show it wet and, and contaminated with, with oils and so forth. Well, that's great because that caliper can survive those type of environmental conditions. But those aren't the conditions that you want to use it in when you're making a precision measurement. The, the, the oil or the water needs to be wiped off of the jaws to ensure that that's not going to influence our measuring. So cleanliness is very important when using any type of hand tool or precision gauge uh, item. So what you want to what you want to start doing is measuring now with the, the card. You can take your part. You know your your reference has been set uh, by bringing the jaws together or re retain that in the beginning. And you want to apply. Make sure that that part is placed between the jaws so that it's square and it's not uh, stressing the jaws. Use the thumb wheel if you have it to make sure that the gauging pressure is consistent. You know. Jaws have a, a basically a caliper has a third reference, which could be at the scale itself. And to achieve more consistent readings between similar parts, it might be a good opportunity to, to put that part between the jaws and up against the reference scale also. So that you have a kind of a three point contact, which ensures that that, that part is always going back to the same place. What you don't want to do is, 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 is have the caliper not square to the part. So it's important to, you know, you can usually feel this with a set of calipers because they do have a nice wide measuring jaw. And once you start closing that caliper, it will uh, kind of square up. You want to have, make sure that the part is square to the jaws and not have this over-exaggerated condition where you're really not measuring the diameter, but you're measuring a, a, a chord or a sign of that diameter, which, which isn't going to be the right reading. So proper alignment is important. It's a little more, diffi it's a little more difficult to feel with thin parts, but uh, you, know, you want to make sure that you have the good surface. You don't want to have it cocked off to the side like this or any chance of it being not aligned to the jaws. And again, make sure that the, the, 
the jaws are square with the part uh, in all directions. And you can usually feel if the part is light enough, if you can pick up that part with the jaws and it's gauging for us that you're applying, you know that you have a good measurement. So why are calipers important shop hand tools? Well, they can be used for a variety of measuring applications. They're always handy, easy, and ready to use. They don't have that external standard. You don't need a master ring or disc uh, to set a reference. The reference or the standard is built into the caliper. <clears throat> they really are a low cost measuring tool. It's not the highest precision measuring tool, but they do offer great versatility for many applications. One of the great places that they are probably used the most is uh, incoming inspection areas and at the machine tool for lesser tolerance applications because they have such a wide range of, uh, of capabilities. They can generally measure most of the features on a part just using the caliper. Again, not the highest resolution and you always have to make sure that you have the right resolution for that tolerance that you're measuring, but for general purpose measurements, a digital caliper is a great way of making that measurement. It says there's versions of calipers available for very large parts. You have the capability of measuring IDs and ODs and length applications. And because the, eight, six, the 16 ER combines modern caliper features, it's truly a capable tool for, measure, for many measuring applications. Typically, the, the accessory that you might want for a caliper, for a standard caliper, is a uh, depth bridge. You know, we, sh we show the caliper being used as a depth gauge in one of the previous applications. But if that hole is a little bit wider and the the scale or the beam is too narrow to cover that uh, that hole, you can get these bridges uh, that up to three inches in width that can allow you to span those holes and measure the depth of that hole or groove or whatever feature that you're looking for. So a, a common accessory is this depth bridge to help us span larger holes. Great about the uh, the 16 ER is it's our featured product uh, of the of the first two months of the year for January and February. We're offering it at a, a very attractive promotion price, and if you order a caliper now, you'll get a free mug with it. So this is uh, just value on top of value. You get the caliper, and all its new modern features, its capabilities and the quality that's built into it for a very attractive promo price. So now's the time to take advantage of this promo. This promo will go through the end of February um, and uh, I think it's a great value and something to consider. So today we discussed you know, what the, the Marcal 16ER is, its features, its accessories, some applications, some good gauging tips to ensure that you get the best results from uh, the 16ER. And because of its versatility, why it's the choice to be used as in inspection areas. And especially since it's our feature, part of our featured product promotion, it just offers greater value in terms of our line of digital calipers. So why MAR? Why choose MAR for your digital caliper? Well, we make and we have the expertise to make a broad range of, of products for industrial metrology. And that, that competence goes into all our products. We know what metrology is. Uh, we, we build metrology. We build the instruments to measure precision metrology. So MAR knows metrology. And we have that application competence to support you. If you have some gauging questions, you can call us up. You'll get somebody who will answer your, your uh, metrology questions. 
We have the wireless hand tool portfolio, which is, like I said, the first company to introduce integrated wireless. And with its data collection capabilities and data sharing, we can help you reach the requirements of Industry 4.0. With our featured product uh, promotions and our pricing, I think that you can you, you can get the highest quality and achieve the best value in terms of all our hand tool line. So after the uh, the email after this. Um, webinar completes we're going to send you a link to the recording of this webinar in case you want to refresh yourself or pass it on to somebody else and again we'll follow up with a pdf of the future product promotion a data sheet and all the the value that you can see with our caliper well thank you for attending today's webinar thank you for your attention like i said if you had any questions or comments you can use the chat feature uh, within the webinar to send it along, or you can email me at george.shoes.mar.com and we'll answer your gauging needs. Thanks again for your uh, attention and attending this webinar.